Come on, you guys. Let's score. 4 1 win secured tonight, courtesy of goals from Joao Felix, Mikhailo Mudrik, and Christo Nkunku. And I might sound a little mad, but I'm going to talk my talk right now. But it's really starting to feel like we are just a level above what nearly any team in the Conference League can actually handle. Because this game was stupidly easy, ridiculously easy. For some reason, I thought Panathinaikos might have a bit more edge fight or battle in their game. And they had none of that. And when I'm seeing Mikhailo Mudrik looking like prime Vinny Jr. in the Conference League, it's telling me everything I need to know about the quality of the opposition. But outside of that very cynical joke, listen, we know that for the B team, and I feel like they're like temporary B team members because I think as this season goes on, I'm not going to be surprised if some of these guys in this team sneak into that first team, right? And I think one player in particular, I think can really control the course of their future would be Mikhailo Mudrik. I mean, again, another assist and he gets on the score sheet and the goal he scored is the type of goal I want to see more of for Mikhailo. You've got ridiculous, explosive pace and speed. You know, if you learn how to time your runs inside the books, if you pick like the weak zones to attack and if you can like maybe make your runs to the far post, I feel like Mudra could maybe bag like five goals a season just from actions like that. And if he wants to, you know, start to showcase his talent and potential, they're the type of improvements that we have to see so we can go to that next level. But regardless, every time he's on the ball, I feel like there's a bit more purpose behind Mudra's game. There isn't this sense of panic. There isn't this sense of not knowing what to do. It feels like he's understanding his place in the system and the expectations and demands from the manager. And I think we saw examples of this with the first goal that was scored. I thought it was phenomenal combination play between Jao Felix, Mikhailo Mudrik. We saw Jao Felix make a very clever, very intelligent back head flick on to find Mudrik attacking the space in behind. Mudrik gets on the end of that ball and he's driving towards the goal. And I'm thinking to myself, please like time this pass back to Joe Felix. Don't overdo it. Don't try and cut inside and force a shot. Don't take the ball to your left foot to try and force across the far post. These are the moments where I want you to execute this final move. And Mudrik's doing that right now. I thought the timing of that pass release Felix was inch perfect. And they might seem like very small actions, very insignificant actions in the grand scheme of like, you know, top level football. But the fact that Mudrik now is displaying like the bare minimum to like a really good standard and quality, it's given me some faith and confidence that there is yet more life left for Mikhailo Mudrik. I feel like it's great that he has the conference league to play full 90 minute games in because that will continue to build his confidence build his confidence, improve his execution and improve his standings within his team. And you know what? It was great to see him score that goal too. And I love the celebration between himself and Enzo Maresca because Maresca, it seems like he has a lot of faith still in Mudrik. And of course, he wasn't in the match he scored against Liverpool, but he knew that he'd be starting this game today. And if you're Mudrik, you want to take advantage of these games and these opportunities to get one goal, one assist. In my opinion, he's my man of the match today. I thought he was very good. And if he continues his form, if he can step up even more and start to influence the game more with more goals and more assists, I don't think the left wing sport in Mareska's current first team, I don't think that's like some finite position that we'll never see any changes in. I think Mudrik has the potential and quality to make that left wing his own over Sancho, Neto and many others. So let's see if he's able to continue out. But today, great performance from him. I like some of the performances I saw today. Listen, I thought Panathinaikos made our lives very easy. I mean, the lack of intensity from them it was very easy for us to, you know, play out from the back. We saw some great, lot of different passes from Renato Vega especially. He's really demonstrating this passing technique he has and his range passing even more now he's looking even more confident game by game i'm really starting to like to see that but it was just very easy for us to find solutions in behind their press and we were regularly seeing midfield players receiving in behind and just kick-starting attacks and carrying us up the field but irrespective of all of that i still saw a good application from the players maybe outside of like five ten minutes tops and that's when we conceded in that period. I feel like I'm okay with us conceding goals. To be a team that consistently gets clean sheets, 
you need to understand the level of mental application you need to have. Like you just don't go to sleep at all. You know, every moment the opposition has, there's a potential opportunity for them to score a goal. I'm not expecting this young team to, uh, you know, have that level of detail and attention in their game right now. That will come, I think, in maybe another season or two, in my opinion. But regardless, we still saw great application. And the fact that the B team now just look, look so comfortable understanding what Maresca wants, this is an amazing situation for the squad right now because as this season goes on, we know we'll have some nasty injuries, we'll have things that go against us. The fact that these B team players are so fluent now in regards to what Maresca wants, this really paints a positive direction for the future. So let's see what happens because I think if there's maybe one player that has one of the best chances to potentially get in that first team, I have to say that's Christo Nkunku. Now, he scored another goal today from a penalty. I think we all knew he was going to bury that. Excellent technique from Nkunku. But I just think to myself, there's certain games now where if Nkunku had got maybe 30 minutes to start of the game, he's just so clinical inside the books that if you create the, some, some of the opportunities other players have had in recent games and giving them to Nkunku, I think Nkunku maybe scores a goal or two outside of these situations. Now, listen, we weren't able to consistently like find him with opportunities up front. I still feel like we don't always create as many great opportunities for strikers in the conference league so far which is fine but there's just this like x factor and like this uh composure that nkunku has that i really feel could benefit the first team at times let's see what happens there but currently i'd say nkunku mudrick they have great opportunities to find themselves in the team and for my other two players outside that list i'm looking at the portuguese boys now in renato vega who is really starting to look quite accomplished Let's continue to see how he goes. And I think Felix, you know, very unlucky Felix didn't get a hat trick today. In my opinion, I feel like, listen, it's only for me, yeah? If there's a player that's already scored two goals and has a moment to get a hat trick, I'm giving that opportunity to my teammate because hat tricks are very rare in this game. And I think it could have done wonders for Felix to get a hat trick in a game like this tonight. I thought it was quite an easy game for him, but he was very inventive. I liked some of the positions he was taking up, constantly helping the team play forward. I liked his combination plays when he drifted to the left hand side, linking up and combining with Kukurea and Mikado Mudruk too. But most importantly, I kind of liked the areas in which Felix was attacking the boxing. You know, he wasn't afraid to show his aerial game when he had to. Um, he wasn't afraid to take shots off quickly when opportunities came up. And he wasn't afraid to get inside the box to, you know, get on the end of these receiving passes and balls. If there was one player that really benefited, I guess, from having Nkunku up front, it probably would have been Joe Felix, who had a lot of license to go into that box unmarked and make things happen. So, listen, good to see him affecting the game today. Good to see all the players who are really in contention to get in that first team. Being our match winners tonight, I think that's a big positive and that's a big pro. And it's great to have multiple competitions we're still participating in where we're winning games because I feel like, listen, not to sound negative, but in like a worst case scenario, if we were losing games left, right and centre, you know, maybe people aren't agreeing with the lineups or certain players in the team over others. We've been in situations like this over the years and it creates so much havoc the coaches don't know what to do. The coaches don't have the perfect solutions because they're in panic mode and they're feeling the pressure left, right and center from everyone. But you know what? This is why I'm making this point because I want to give huge testament to Enzo Maresca because his man management has been phenomenal. The fact that players are running up to him to celebrate alongside and we're seeing the club releasing some great clips of him interacting with the squad. They clearly seem to like him based on the few images and videos that were seen. They've really taken to him. And I think especially with how Pochettino left and with how so many players were close to him, it really does feel like maybe we should have given the club more credit for appointing Enzo Maresca because it was a bit of a surprise, a bit of like a, a left field decision. But it's paying off so well right now. And I just think Maresca is not just his man management, but it's just his strategy, his tactics, you know? I'm liking how there's he's shown this adaptation with his methods. Uh, maybe people had certain fears that Maresca would just be this one note, possession heavy, short passing, no creativity, no nothing. But he's not like that. 
And he's shown that he's willing to adapt to the quality of players he has, where there's been a few games this season where we've had less possession than the opposition, just so we can play more of a transitional game. And I think when you're implementing your methods alongside getting the best out of the players that you have at your disposal, it, it, it creates a very happy environment for everyone to showcase their talents. And I think Mavresk deserves a lot of love, man. But um, yeah, to end with this match review, I guess I have to discuss all the little Chelsea pups that made their appearances and... I'm not going to lie, it was nice to see the mentality of some of these guys wanting to come on and make something happen. You know, a lot of times, youngsters, they come on, they play within themselves, they just do, um, you know, the safe things on the field just to not piss the manager off. But, you know, it was nice to see little Tyreek George coming on, trying to force shots whenever he had the opportunity. Now, of course, he was forcing them left, right and centre more than he had to. But it doesn't really matter because he's not going to get many opportunities. And it's more about, okay, how do you feel playing alongside teammates like this are you still confident to play your game and i think he's definitely showcased that but yeah i'm calling these guys chelsea pups for now because i, I was laughing a little bit at some of that the, the youthful endeavor from a lot of these guys you know um overhitting their passes um over dribbling getting the ball caught in their feet um all these little like funny moments where they're trying so hard but Again, this can be the issue when you don't consistently have minutes that really irons out a lot of the, uh, not mistakes, but like a lot of the, uh, you know, panicky type of moments, right? It was nice to see all of them come on. And yeah, I was really willing for the team to try and get five goals. At least that would have been perfect against Panathinaikos tonight. So that's it, my friends. Nice to know that we don't have to worry or have any stress in the conference league and i'm gonna sound hella arrogant but i kind of feel like we've got this tournament wrapped up and in the bags it will take one of the biggest upsets i've seen in my whole life for us to not win the conference league and i'm, I'm just talking my talk right now and the reason why i feel this confident is that we're seeing the application from players that aren't necessarily the first team ones showing first team talent in the conference league so my friends share your thoughts and opinions hit that like button and i'll catch you guys tomorrow